In-house prepared Mullerhinton agar plates are stored at 4 to 8 centigrades and the shelf life should be determined as part of the laboratory quality assurance programme. Commercially prepared plates should be stored as recommended by the manufacturer and used before the expiry date. Make sure that agar plates have reached room temperature and are dry prior to inoculation. No drops of water should be visible on the surface of the agar or inside the lid. For agar plates stored in plastic bags or sealed containers, it may be necessary to dry the plates prior to use. This is to avoid excess moisture, which may lead to reading difficulties due to fuzzy sewn edges or haze within sewns. Dry plates either at 20 to 25 centigrades overnight or at 35 centigrades with the lid removed for 15 minutes. Antimicrobial paper discs are sensitive to moisture. Incorrect storage and handling of discs may result in loss of potency and reduced inhibition sewn diameters. Store antimicrobial discs as instructed by the manufacturer. Some agents are less stable than others and the manufacturer may have issued specific recommendations for some discs. Once disc cartridges have been opened, discs shall be stored in sealed containers with an active desiccant and protected from light. Regenerate desiccants when the indicator changes colour. Allow discs to reach room temperature before opening cartridges or containers used for disc storage. This is to prevent condensation, leading to rapid deterioration of some agents. Do not use discs beyond the manufacturer's expiry date shown on the container. Manufacturers may have specific limitations on how long discs in an open cartridge can be used. Perform frequent quality control of working supplies of discs to control that antimicrobial discs have not lost potency during storage. See the UCAS website for QC tables and video on quality control.